Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video to my Inktober Ink Plus watercolors and for today I was thinking I could be painting a mason jar with some tree in it and it's gonna be quite simple this time I do believe. Also as for the previous videos and paintings I was using this Hanamula watercolor book which I will be using also today I have designated that one for the for this Inktober so I will be also using this one this is some of the work we did earlier so you can find them all on my channel I will link the playlist for the Inktober so you can definitely if you missed any watch the videos now and maybe get into it's never too late get into the drawing and painting and also we will be needing a pencil an eraser of course uh, some ink pens these are ink pens from etcher and also i will be using these watercolors from etcher but i will link all the supplies down in the description box actually you have the link from my amazon store where you can find all the supplies i use and recommend that i can find on amazon with my affiliate link so if you maybe want to purchase or purchase something i will get a small commission without no additional cost to you so let's get started to with our gonna do mason jar this is October 23rd well time really does fly so let's get starting start uh, with our sketch I will just do something like that so it's not gonna be a straight mason jar we're gonna do it slightly inside curve it slightly inside so with the cap with the upper part I'm gonna start make it quite thick so this is just gonna be a sketch like that and then we have this belly and going in side like that you probably already know that what I like to do if I want to make my both sides symmetrical you can actually also use a ruler to make your center to point where the center is and then just to do it somewhat uh, somewhat symmetrical but if you want to make sure that it's definitely symmetrical you can just get a paper draw one side cut it and then trace it and you will have both sides symmetrical so that's something I like to do and I do want to have both sides I think I did that with the cup with the mug so if you want to see what I'm talking about you can see it in that video how to achieve symmetry on both sides well with a small cheating maybe so it doesn't have to be perfect like that I'm happy with that and then we have these lines going inside like that for our mason jar like that and then that's gonna be it I'm gonna do the ground now like that and then we have our tree it's slightly on the on the left side it has a little bump here and then its feet roots not really feet <laughs> I just like to call it that way I know they are not feet of course So like that and do a couple of branches I will just put them in a few ones in, in the main ones but later on of course we can adjust that it's gonna be the this one then we have one going up this one 
like that and we have the one that our swing is going to be on like that and a few birds so I'll be adding a little bit more of those branches but for now that's just enough so we can move on to our sketch are actually inking and I'm not gonna do the full lines this time I, I do want it to make this one slightly loose so I will just do those lines quite loosely and not in a full like that that's gonna be our lid actually not the lid but the you know what I'm talking about and then the edges of our jar and just to make it look like th there is some uh, thickness to our glass I will actually do this like that and then do the bottom part where we won't be adding the color of our ground just to make it look like that glass has some thickness to it like that like that and we would we can do a few details but we can do that with a little bit smaller brush smaller ink pen so this is going to be our ground few grasses but later on again we will do a little bit more of the details it's slightly smaller brush so then just uh, also some broken lines here for the roots and we have some dent here like that and then our tree branches and you can also make them slightly you know not perfectly lined just add some details to make that those lines also slightly wiggly going like you know like a real tree branch not to make it look too stiff like that like that and we do have our swing here like that so I will get now this zero one a little bit smaller ink pen and just do a few details with that ink pen on our side of our jar and here where those add a little bit more of the details but now a few more branches to our tree just add them as many as you like if you want your tree to have fewer branches well you don't have to be adding more of those but if you want them to if you want it to have a more of them well, as I said just add as as many as you want just to have a quite an amount of them so 
a little bit more details to this lower part like that some part of the tree is going to be darker here so as you can see I'm not really trying to paint uh, details but I'm just or make it look like it's a like every single line is perfectly placed and well I just I'm just enjoying the doodling and add a little bit more of the some details here like that so there you go and I think I will be adding a few birds we have an open mason jar so I'm gonna do one here like that then we're gonna do I'm gonna do one maybe here like that and then we'll do a few ones up there just position them as you like their wings you can see where the body is I'm just adding a little bit of the dot and then some thicker wings and then at the edge just some lighter ones so I'm just looking at, right I'm gonna add here some smaller one and maybe one little bit smaller one here so those birds are coming out or getting in so that's our mason jar done I will also do get back to zero five and just do a few lines like that around it I do have my palettes are quite dirty already so this is just a sky blue from Etcher I'm gonna mix, mix it in with ultramarine and very very light wash a little bit more of ultramarine I'm gonna add that here to our jar. Just make sure that your uh, ink pen is waterproof. I did not actually erase my pencil lines, so just those that are still not wet. I will now erase the parts that I wetted. Well, I will not be erasing. I'll try to maybe erase them later on. So a little bit more these parts and at the top my blues are mixing with the green that is of my palette. Oh I don't mind that. A little bit more of that ultramarine and just top it in here and those parts that I do want to be slightly darker like that we'll add here some of that also blue but this time I will get a little bit of the black I have it here on my on my palette just for the edge like that and the bottom part this time I will be painting in black in the brown this is I believe a burnt umber so just go around the tree and paint in that part you don't have to be perfectly precise as always like that a little bit more just beneath the tree and then get some dark brown and do the tree I'm not gonna go into the all into all the branches just gonna get a few of them and maybe mix my color 
with the sky with the blue, right? like that and then get a little bit of the green and just tap that in into my browns like that this part is now still wet I'll add a little bit more toppings of the blue and also I will pick up some blue and just splatter it inside my mason jar I will try to keep it inside the mason jar so get a little bit more of ultramarine and also splatter it slightly outside the lines of my mason jar going up like that and let's not over complicate this painting I believe that could be very well enough maybe just a little touch of yellow and just add it here on And that's it let's dry that so this is not dry and I will get a little bit more of that ultramarine but this time with a slightly smaller brush and just add it here in this corner that I did decide to make it slightly darker so I'm gonna add it here and then smoothen the edges with water like that so that part is going to be a little bit darker and also I will add a little bit more of the details here on the on those parts where the creases are on the lid on the neck of the jar and just a little bit more on this side and also I will get again that a little bit bigger brush and mix in with my blue a little bit of a dark brown just to create that grayish color and all sorts of colors I'm mixing here right now so just add it here on this side a little bit more like that and with that same color same gray I will just add a little bit more details to our jar just a few and then with this dark brown I'm gonna go over the tree and just do some details some a little bit more of the details here maybe it's on the, near the root I don't want to go too much because I do want my pen lines to be visible but just a little bit just to emphasize it slightly more that should be the well, I guess one of the focal points right so it should be emphasized a little bit more and then with a little bit more of that dark brown just gonna add a little bit more here like that and now I'm gonna get some white gouache and here 
gonna put some white gouache to create a highlight. I was planning to make a highlight there, but it just got lost. So, and a few splatters with that white gouache. And you know what? I love that. And I don't think I'll be adding anything more. Let's just try that. This is, however, the fall. So you can add a few leaves, maybe some fallen leaves, if that's what you like. I will also get, again, now that 01 pen. And just add a little bit more of the details to some parts. that I do believe got lost because of the because of the watercolors and we added the watercolors and I do want them to be here So I'm done and well I hope you enjoyed this video and well you might want to give this one a try I do believe it's very simple and if you do please share it do share it if you have an Instagram account tag me there is a down in the description box all the details about my Instagram account where you can find me and I would love to see your work and also if you do like it please hit the like button share it of course comment as always to help spread the word and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel there are 22 october inktober videos before this one and i believe eight coming more so a lot of nice things coming up and also i'm planning a little bit more uh, stuff on my channel for the next few months but about that later on so guys thank you so much for watching for all your support i really do appreciate that a lot and i do hope i will see you next time bye